you have been introduced, but I like what Nigerians now do, Professor. Uh, they come on the stage and say, I stand on the protocol that have already been established. And it's a good way of not making mistakes in terms of getting names wrong or the order. And that is what I intend to do. The good professor here is uh, somebody that I know. I remember two years ago it was at the Walter Sisulu University. He graciously introduced me to the audience, and I remember that. I'm glad that he is the one who was invited to give an overview on a subject that he has rightly indicated defies being the subject of a lecture. In fact, this is a whole course on, on African Ness and African history for a whole year, not even a semester. And therefore, what I will do is simply to tease out some of the critical issues that, in my view, are relevant to a conversation such as this. I'll therefore not deliver a lecture but I will have a conversation with this audience by identifying what I call milestones in history, which can explain why the African continent and African peoples find themselves in the plight in which they are. And this can only be understood in the context of what other men and women have written or talked about. Many of you through history will remember that this continent started having dalliance with different civilizations a long time ago. We never say this as loudly as we should. But the Arabs were in the eastern coast of Africa very early on. The Omani Arabs came into the coast of what is now Zanzibar and Pemba and East Africa and Arabized or tried to Arabize that part of the continent. And they engaged in slavery. That is even before the Arab world itself was Islamized. They later came when they had been Islamized and there was an attempt to both Arabize and Islamize the continent. When you read the history of the peoples at that time in the territory that is now called Tanzania or Tanganyika, the history of the struggles of people such as Chief Mukwawa of the Hehe, you'll find the resistance that was mounted by the African peoples. But even after that, the Portuguese 